Hello, I'm Jürgen Bellmann from Sophistic. In this video, Teddy 3, I want to show you the use of arrays and more. With this system, we ended in the video Teddy 2. We had five spans and so we made a loop over six columns. We used a dx that was constant with 5 meters. But now we want to have variable spans. I first show you what we want to achieve. I would like to have short spans in the beginning, then longer spans and a shorter span at the end. So in the next input I now use a variable with the coordinates xx that shows the coordinate 0, 3.22 meters for the column number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I write this in one line here, I create an array with six elements. The first element has the index 0 and the last element has the index 5. So we have the position of the columns at the stations 0 to 5. Now we change our loop that we had and do not write here n spans plus 1 as we did here. But we can also write here just the name of the array then the loop will just go over the number of elements in the array. So it will start with 0 and will go up to 5. In the first loop run we define our node number 100 plus 1. You know this index has 1. And we have our x coordinate xx of 0 because this is the first loop. If we run this, we get this system. To keep an overview of what you are doing, you can also make a test print in your input. If you write PRT variable i1 and we run this, always the variable e1 will be printed. So let's start it. And if we look to the report, you see here the test print of the variable e1. We see in the first run we really had the value 1 up to 6. And that is just what we expected because we printed here this variable that is always been increased by 1 over the loop variable e0. It is also a good idea to print the array after the definition. So we write PRT XX and if we run this, we get this report. So after our definition of XX, we really see the components of our array. The next possibility for a test print is to use TXE text at the end of your output. You can write a text whatever you want and then print a variable x with 9 characters and 3 digits. We make this here. It is always good to first store the variable here in a new variable x so our coordinate that is dependent on the array we store into the variable x. If we now run this, we go to our report at the end because txe prints it at the end and we here see our text with really three digits at the end. Now a second use of arrays we now want that the section number of the columns is a different one for different sections. 11, 12, 13, 13, 12, 11. We now make a loop over all columns. That is the number of elements in the array SN. 
and we create our beam elements now always with the section number sect that is a variable that i have copied here let variable sect be the value of the array sn at this position if we run this we get the following output you see bigger columns in the center smaller columns here that is just a different cross section now the use of another test print maybe we have an error in our input maybe we used here the wrong index e1 and we run this file we will get an error and sometimes the error message is not very clear in this case you can input the debug code too and if we now execute this module and look into the report go to the input data we see after activating the debug switch all variables are printed so first the array xx then the section number array then we have our loop and we really see first the variable e1 is assigned gets the value 1 then a note is given we go down go down this is not of interest but here now we see our error message and that means variable xx is undefined for the index 6 because the index goes from 0 to 5 you can also make a test print to a separate file for this i show you the ASE example dynamics step bridge nonlinear lifting support dot dot there is also a youtube video for these sophistic ASE dynamics features this example shows a bridge where a dynamic load is added in the center but you see here the supports are lifting when the magnitude gets too high we see here the input in the teddy we have a load with a given time factor and we write an ASE module containing a loop over time steps and in every time maybe from 0.2 seconds to 0.3 seconds we apply the load otherwise the load factor is zero now we can make a text outprint to a file please first write a header for the text file here step test print dot txt and we can just write whatever we want here then in the following we add a plus that means that this text will be added in the file step test print dot txt if we run this let's look to this file we best open the explorer see our folder and have here our file dot txt if we double click we see just the result that was our initial file to open the text file and then after every time step we see here is no load factor and here we have a load factor so to repeat we first open our text file step test print and then with a plus we can add text to this text file the next possibility i want to show you is the add key command where you can read the information in the database maybe we take a similar system where we do not know how the system is swinging and for this we use step intelligent load dot dot the idea is in every time step to see or to look if this bridge is going down if the bridge is going down the passenger is just loading the bridge here we see the result the passenger is passing the bridge and is only jumping when it is worst for the bridge 
because we take into account the mass of the passenger, the eigenfrequency is changing during the analysis and you cannot know in advance what is the worst time. This is the input in ASE. We make a loop over time steps can calculate the time at the beginning and at the end of every time step and then this is the most important line with F key we access to the nodal velocity and with this command we can read for this controlling node 208 the velocity in set direction store it into a local variable velo and with this we can say the factor of the load is usually minus one feet is in the air and if velocity is greater than zero we say the factor is positive one so the passenger is loading the bridge if you want to learn more about this please go to the help user manuals sophistic and there you can find maybe the arithmetic expression sinus cosinus, the if conditions and the add key access. But I don't want to go into details. Please here have an overview over the add key examples in the ASA manual and there's also one in the CSM.files. So thanks for listening and goodbye.